the recommended and fastest way to claim is using the selection tool. Just execute lens selection, press enter and it will automatically activate the selection mode. Then you just go ahead and select both corners of your claim. I will do that real quick. You can use left and right click or the key you use to drop items. Left click, first corner and right click, second corner. Now you can see it automatically claimed all chunks in the selection. You can also see it also used the name of my player as the land name. If you later want to change the name of your land, just execute lands rename and provide a name. You can also provide a name before claiming by executing lands create and then a name. And after that you would activate the selection mode and start claiming just like I did now. But I have just shown the fastest and easiest way to get started. If you for some reason want to expand your land not with the selection mode but chunk by chunk you can do so by walking outside of the claim. To see your claim borders just execute lands view. Now you can see particles start to show up. Now I'm outside of my claim and now if I execute lens claim without selection mode, it will just claim a chunk which consists of 16 by 16 blocks and full height. So that's an option. If you want to unclaim it again, just use lens unclaim. You can also use the selection mode to unclaim parts of your land. I will show that real quick. Let me just go ahead and select this corner here and this one. Now I execute lands unclaim and it unclaimed a part of my land. That's pretty easy. So if I want to somehow expand it again using the selection tool, I will enter selection mode again. Then I go ahead, select one corner and another one. Then you can see it shows uh, orange particles for the selection. Then I execute lens claim and will claim all chunks in the selection. And you can see the claim border updates correctly. So if you for some reason want to delete your land, just execute lens delete. It will then ask you to confirm the deletion. You can also click here and yeah, you can see I deleted my land. If you want to create sub areas inside your land, you can also do that using the selection tool. But I just deleted my land, so I will need to create it again. And I will just take the opportunity to show you another way of claiming land. Really easy and quick. You can execute lands, claim radius. So this will claim all chunks in a specific radius of chunks. So if I put like two, it will claim all chunks in radius of two chunks. You can see that worked perfectly. It claimed all chunks. If you want to create a sub area, execute land selection. Then you have to select the upper and lower corner because sub areas, unlike claims, have a height. That's very important to consider. You could, for example, have a house with multiple stories inside it and each story could be one sub area. So let me create a lower corner using left click and the upper corner I will select using the key I use to drop items. You can see it visualizes the selection. Then just execute lens selection, assign 
um, the name of the area you want to choose. I will use test area as the name. And you can see it automatically shows the corners of the sub area. If you want to visualize claim borders and sub areas, just execute and view. You can see it shows all claim borders and sub areas. If the server you're playing on allows you to be part of multiple lands and you, for example, want to claim for a specific land or trust a player to a specific land and you don't want to use the GUI menu and instead want to use commands, you may need to select the land beforehand. So if you, for example, want to trust players to a specific land, you need to execute lands, edit, and then the land name, and then all following commands will be executed for this land. So in my case, I'm part of two lands, land underscore one and land underscore two. If I want to trust players to land underscore two, or claim land for land underscore two, I will execute lands, edit land underscore two. And now all following commands will be executed for this command. And this will also save um, between sessions, so you don't need to enter it every time you join the server. Just if you want to do certain stuff for another land. But usually the menu is the easier and quickest way to do all of this. So you don't need to execute a lands edit command, you just execute lands. And then you open the land menu and you can trust players and do everything and even more than you can do with commands. So commands aren't really needed. It's up to you what you prefer. And I will separate, we'll do a separate video about the GUI menu soon. Thank you.